So does your sex life get better after marriage or does it become non-existent like they would have you to believe in the media? Well, it depends on who you are. I believe that I am John Holmes. <laughs> you know, people know who John Holmes is. Uh, maybe they don't know John Holmes. Oh my! That's a certain. That's a certain. Uh, what, what's that? What you call that? Thing? That's a certain error. John Holmes. If I had to go later on, I believe that when I walk in the room, she's totally excited. I get a little moist. And then I destroy it. <laughs> and then I just straight destroy it. But I tell but that's you, only when you come in with a nice, clean shaved head. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, she, yeah. She likes. Oh, she don't like the the, the ruffian, yeah, I don't. scraggly things. And I then I get like yelled that. at or whatever. That does not make it more. But when I do the Billy D. Williams, like you gonna let my hand fall off? Then I just tear it down, B. But you know, let me tell you something. I'm gonna be <laughs> honest with guys that's over forty though, over thirty five. When you're over thirty five, your body changes though. And you know, that's what I'm saying? when the good good just takes control of the situation because women don't get to that level <laughs> until they're like me off? no no it's true though women don't get to those areas of issues until they're maybe 50 or what? whatever maybe 55 no, it gets better for us no that's what i'm saying because once i turn 40 you know i started putting the wet fire on that right what i'm trying to say <laughs> is that as as a man is starting to go down a little bit in 35 women are going up right so you 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 when they there's there's a, there's a disadvantage to a degree. Do I keep it up? Yeah, but what I'm trying to say, see, you're being comical. Right now. <laughs> no, I'm being for real. No, but serious, I'm I'm being real. But what happens is, if you really love your woman and you have this attraction, then you're gonna find ways to make sure physically you're you're gonna be good. Now, that means whether you you kind of what I started to do, try to cut down on your weight. And I still got a little ways to go, but you cut down your weight because that messes with your testosterone. I'm not getting all scientific now. You know, start messing with your testosterone. A lot of guys don't really think and read about that, you know, because you, you, you're supposed to concentrate and make sure, yo, my woman's feet are not going to go to sleep. I don't care what goes on, yo. So whether you got to lose some weight, stop drinking all the sugar, you know, start taking multivitamins and, and get yourself together so you know that as she's going up, you're going, oh, you ain't going nowhere. We're going the same way. And that's, and that's it because that's important, you know. And it was funny. It was my son, my oldest son, who got into all the bodybuilding. Who, who He's the one who kicked it to me. Like, yo, you got to make sure you start walking more. I mean, he was more talking about me, just the health. Because we had a lot of friends that passed away at 40, catching heart attacks. You know, look what happened, my boy Heavy D, and so like, so you know, health became a very important thing because now my kids are scared. Like, yo, Dad, you're 43 now, and you know, we haven't, you know, we see pairs of yours and friends having health issues, and so it all kind of balls up into one thing. But it's it's very important again, even with women, that your partner has to be a person that is 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 there with you. So it ain't no craziness. It's like, no, let's go. Let's make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, that's just being honest. I, I you know, I, I, I'm a, I'm a, you know, I'm a descendant in the Jamaican family. My feet is size 15 and a half. She knows what time it is. Right now, she, she's winning right now. She's I'm winning. Definitely winning. She's winning right now, but it's I'm cool. I'm tearing it down. For blog-related comments and questions, be sure to follow me on Twitter at Daydream217. And to continue the discussion, be sure to find my Not So Patiently Waiting Facebook page.
please be sure to visit the Not So Patiently Waiting for His Love blog at www.dreamcatcher3606.blogspot.com.